bed. Wacky worm with a gumagatsu octopus hook. Uh, number one. Hey, it's Yak Bass Fishing here. Wanted to go over some ways to rig wacky worms. They've been working really good for me lately. It's probably one of the, my go-tos for bass fishing in mid to late summer when it starts getting really weedy. Start fishing around docks. So my favorite's the Yum Dinger. I uh, like it in the watermelon red flake or the watermelon gold flake. Both look really good, similar to uh, like bluegills or other bait fish out there. Uh, gives a good distress look when it's floating down. So when I'm rigging this, uh, you can either just go straight with an octopus hook, rig it right through about halfway. Uh, just trying to get a good little flutter. You can also pick up these rubber rings and slide them on and then rig your hook around that rubber ring. Another technique I like to do is actually use two rings and crisscross them. That way your hook and stay straight up and down. Kind of like that. I get better hook sets like that. Less misses. So another te technique you can use if you are around a lot of weeds. You can take that hook Go in like you normally do, but then circle it back. Kind of like that. It'll make it a little bit more weedless, but then also still engage when you get that bite. All right, my favorite hook to use with the wacky rig is the number one Gamagatsu octopus hook. It's heavy enough to still give a good drop to the wacky worm, but also light enough that it's not falling, like if you have extra weight on it. So what I mainly use is those yum dingers. Uh, it's a five inch worm. They work great. Uh, I find that they're pretty well buoyant, so they're not sinking too fast, yet also not floating. Another good one out there is the Bass Pro Shops Tournament Series Stick a Worm. It's also a six inch worm. It has a pretty similar uh, drop and feel as the Yums. I know a lot of other people like to use the Gary Yakamoto worms. Uh, I like them, but they are a little expensive. So when I'm fishing the wacky worm, I'm looking for posts off docks looking for rock ledges. You wanna just find an area that has bass up on it, uh, preferably suspended. That's when, this, that's when the wacky worm works the best. You're trying to get it to fall down right in front of them and they will slay it. Hope you guys found this informative. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe for some future content. See ya.